Mic check, test one, two. This is the test of the 10,000 milliamp 48 volt setup on the 340 millimeter EDF. Starting spin up at 20%. Is at 50, we will cut off at 42. Increasing speed to 40%. It appears we've had some sort of malfunction, possibly the motor disconnecting from the collet. We reached about 90 amps, so we will see what's going on. Motor is kind of warm. We may have lost that motor, um, surprisingly. I didn't push it past the amps, so we're gonna cool it and see what happens. But yeah, this is a, uh, it looks like this engine probably failed.
okay, we have another one. Still have 49 volts. And that's what happens. Let's unplug this. ESC. ESC is not very warm. Everything's still spinning freely on the fan itself. I think it just has to do with the fact that in forward motion, we are dealing with uh, active cooling as we're going. Um, plus, I was really torquing it there, getting it, pat getting it close to its 100 amp mark. Um, it didn't go over 100, from what I can tell, but the motor still did fail. So that will be going back to the manufacturer because it was at 100, under 100 amps and it failed. And our batteries are not even warm. Cables, a little bit warm. ESC, slightly warm. And that's even after heat soaking. But yeah. I'll swap this motor out with the other 7070. And we'll do it again. Good run. Nice to know that the engine is such high quality. Alrighty, guys. Okay, everyone. So this is what's going on. I pushed it to full throttle a couple of times on a couple of the bursts. And my fan did not fail. The PETG did not fail. The motor has failed. I can feel something has collapsed inside that motor. And I didn't even hit the max RPMs of the motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that apart i'm going to check the motor and then we're more than likely going to send that motor back luckily i have another exact copy of that motor right there so um what we're going to do is send this one back <laughs> and get another one um i have been using the flip sky motor but mad components does come out with some uh, pretty decent kv motors and they're more geared towards this as opposed to a flip sky motor but the flip sky motor gives me the torque i'm looking for because it's designed to move body mass so while that was a good run and it definitely you could definitely tell the power difference especially with these 10,000 milliamp batteries right here um it ran well the fan survived the fan didn't come apart no glue holding those blades in just friction fit that's gonna tell you something but we are gonna take this down we're gonna swap the motor um and we're going to disassemble what i can check the bearings do all that good stuff and see how everything fared i believe obviously it's just the motor uh i can feel it inside there it's dragging on something so that being said we will swap it out with uh, this one all right here which is another 7070 until i can get the, this one replaced and we will go from there and we will see exactly what happened to that motor or if there are other 110 to 150 maybe even more on the kvs um as long as i know what the max amp draw is and it's under 150 amps with what i'm running on the esc then we should be fine. So we can swap motors out, do a different motor mount, and try a different motor. So far, this has been the best one. That was a full throttle push at one point. So we're not ever going to push it that far. Uh, <laughs> I mean, in, in, in most cases, with the thrust that this produces. I was afraid these straps were going to break. They're getting stretched out. <laughs> That's for sure. But uh, that was a good run. It was a good run, and we are going to do it again, so stick around for that. And don't miss it when we do it again, because I want to swap that motor out, print whatever replacement parts I have to, which I don't think I have to, unless the heat soaking um, has warped the motor mount itself at all. 
uh, worst case scenario, I just print that. That takes about an hour, <laughs> if that. And then we will put it in there and do it again. Uh, I think that was a good run. Very successful, very good data collection. And we did manage to get to full throttle a couple of times. And um, and then just like the other um, smaller Flip Sky motor that I had, it failed in the same way. It got to a certain torque point, a certain, a certain set of amps that weren't, uh, that wasn't over its its maximum amps, and it failed. It's failing before its uh, maximum amp amp current draw. So that's that's telling me a lot about the Flip Sky motors. So um, again, I am using it unconventionally, but still, it's a sixty horsepower motor. It should not, and I'm only pushing 48 volts through it. It should have not, for one, uh, got even close to the top of the amp range. And it shouldn't have seized up or failed. Uh, but other than that, my construction of my fan has proven itself. <laughs> so I'm no longer afraid of that. Um, but we're going to give it a closer look. Uh, we're going to get the video put together and get it out to you guys so you can take a look at it. It's going to be awesome. So... Until we do this again, thanks for watching.